Hi, my name is Anik Robinson. Welcome to WatchMojo.com. You can find me with some other recipe and fitness ideas on EnikArts.com. I have challenged top Parisian bad boy chef Bruno Doucet from La Regalade, which is a restaurant which requires up to three weeks in order to get a table. But here, we're going to get some of his best recipes. Low gluten, no soy, no dairy, no processed foods and no sugar. In fact, it's all protein. Teach you how to do them in two minutes or less. So today's incredible gluten-free recipe is going to be marinated scallops with some basil pesto. Bruno, can you explain the ingredients for us? Yes, we use uh, fresh scallops, basil, olive oil, fresh pepper, black salt, sea salt, garlic, chives and sprig onions and lemon. Lemon. Our marinated scallops are very simple. You can do these in two steps. There's no cooking involved. All we're gonna do is make a fresh pesto. The pesto you can use for pastas, please use gluten-free pasta, um, or any other kind of sauce. And the second thing we're gonna do is we're simply gonna cut our scallops and season them so that they cook in lemon juice ceviche style. And then we plate and we're ready to eat. Alors Bruno, how do we make our pesto? Yeah, we put uh, basil. Basil, which is one of my favorite herbs to put in just about anything. Garlic, a little olive oil. So how much olive oil are we putting? How much? Uh, I don't know, one, uh, 100 uh, grams. Okay. And we have your pesto. It's all. It's finished. And so our second step is now we prepare the scallops. Yes. Beginning to slice the scallops. Watch your fingers. Too. And Bruno actually specified that we needed a very sharp knife. Yes. This is one that I found just around the corner from my house. I'm sure you have a good uh, store near you that can give you a similar cooking implement. Now these are raw scallops. And the beauty of adding in a little bit of lemon is it actually cooks the scallop so that you don't need to broil it. The lemon juice cooks it all on its own. Sea salt, black salt, a little. So you put the black salt and the sea salt first because it will melt and be distributed by what we put on top. After. Pesto. And then some garnish? Yes. So he certainly did live up to the challenge. Merci beaucoup, Bruno. Avec plaisir. And uh, catch us on watchmojo.com for more of these delicious gluten-free recipes.